Hey, it's Jason. Welcome to WordPress Foundations. This is Module 8, the 10 must-have plugins. Now, these plugins are the cream of the crop. Now, note, I'm not going to be talking about any of the SEO plugins. So, if you want to install the SEO plugins, which I highly recommend, then you need to go back and check the earlier video, which talks about the must-have SEO plugins. These are different plugins, and they're all absolutely required. I pretty much call these a necessity. There's only maybe one you can get away with with not using, but you probably still want to use it because it'll make your readers so much happier. These all give you the biggest positive impact for basically nothing. I mean, you don't have to hardly do anything. It takes minimal time to set this stuff up. They're all 100% free, so you don't have to pay a penny. You don't have to hire somebody to do something for you or nothing. It's just instant results delivered in rapid style succession, kind of like this video. Every one of these takes less than 30 seconds to install. So if you want, best thing to do is after I name one of these is to pause the video, open up a new tab, log into your dashboard, type in that keyword, and install the plugin. You see me install plugins. It takes no time at all. So pause the video after each one or wait till I mention on my, there's I list five per slide or something. So pause the video, go out and install the videos. I mean, install the plugins and then come back to the video, unpause it and continue and do this and you're done, you're set. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The 10 must have plugins. Number one is Google Analyticator. Now, this is very, very important. What this does is it integrates analytics into your blog. Now, analytics might, may seem like a real scary word, but what it does is it basically allows you to keep track of all your stats and measure metrics, set goals and conversions, and all this stuff. It's a little more complicated to get into. We'll talk about that later in other videos and other courses, but for now, just know you need a Google Analytics account. It's 100% free. You just get it from Google. It's the same place you get your AdWords or your Gmail. Just go to Google Analytics, sign up, and use this plugin. It's free. It takes a few seconds, and it installs Analytics. Now, the reason you're going to use this particular plugin instead of any of the other plugins is this has a dashboard function. So what this means is you don't have to keep logging into your Google Analytics account. You can kind of just let it slide and not even touch it if you don't want to. But what you'll be able to do is every time you log into your dashboard, you're going to see the stats. So you're like, oh, okay, I got this many visitors. Here's the websites they're looking at. Here's how they got here and all this stuff. It's very, very important and very cool. Top commenters, top commentators. Now, what this does is, okay, so you have your blog and you're getting all these comments and feedback from people, right? So what you want to do is you want to try and encourage them, you know, let them shine in the spotlight. So what this does is it allows you to, on your sidebar, it'll show up the top commenters. These are the people that have commented the most on your blog and so on and so forth. It's really, really cool, and it gives them just another reason to post. Next is WordPress database backup. Now, this is essential. I have a video on my blog which teaches you how to install it and how to set it up and best practices, so check that out. Just go to enlightenedwebmastery.com, type in database backup, and you'll find it. But just go ahead and install this plugin and schedule it. What it'll do is it'll email you a backup of your database. So if something ever goes wrong, your web host gets fried, you know, some storm happens, you don't lose all your stuff. It's saved. You have it in your email, you can be back up and running in minutes. It's, it's no problem. Next is comment love. Now, not too many people talk about this, but what this does is it encourages people to comment on your blog. It rewards them. Thus the name comment love. What happens is whenever you go to a blog that has comment love enabled, whenever you post a comment like, hey, man, that was a fantastic article. I really loved how you talked about this, this, and this, and so on and so forth. Whenever they do that and they leave that comment, what it does is it says whenever someone else reads that comment, they're going to see their comment, and then they're going to see a link to the latest blog post, which is awesome. So they get a little bit of, uh, you know, you know, they get a little result out of it. They get a little benefit, which is kind of cool. So it encourages people to comment and not leave, like, crappy comments like buy Viagra, you know, or whatever random stuff people type in, which is just ridiculous. But comment love is just a great way to reward people. And I highly recommend that I actually use this on Enlightened Web Mastery. And I use this on some other blogs that I have set up too. I mean, it's just really great. Next is sexy bookmarks. Now we already talked about this in the connecting social media module. But again, just to reiterate, what this does is allows your users to socially bookmark all your sites, any page that they like, right there from the page. So if they want to tell a friend about it, they can just click a button and they know there's no more having to go up to the top, click the little link, open up Gmail, paste it, and do none of that stuff. They don't have to go to dig and log in and blah, blah, blah. They just click a button. It's, it's really simple. And that's what you want to do. You want to make stuff as simple as possible for your readers. Because if it's just one little button they got to click, maybe they'll click it. If they got to go through all this other stuff, chances are they're not. So install this plugin if you haven't already. 
Next is Contact Form 7, which sounds all official. But what this plugin does is it allows you to install a, com a contact me form, which is very, very important on your website. Google likes websites that have a contact us page, an about us page, and if you're going to be doing opt-ins, which we talked about in the last video, you're going to want to have a privacy policy and terms and conditions and so on and so forth, which we cover in just a few short seconds. But what the contact form 7 does is allows you to instantly have a contact form on your website. I mean, it takes seconds and it looks really, really cool. So you're going to want to install this plugin. That way you can keep in touch with your readers. Your readers can contact you and ask you a question directly, and you can respond. I mean, it's amazing. Next is easy privacy policy. Now, whenever you have an opt-in form on your website, you need to have a privacy policy in the terms and conditions. It's, you know, that way Google knows you're not some crazy spammer and you're out there getting people's email addresses and selling them and doing something evil. But if you, you just want to have this installed that way. You know, it just makes Google happy. I mean, I know you're not going to be some bad person that's spamming people, but... You still want to go ahead and just have your privacy policy just so you, you know you're safe. And by using the easy privacy policy plugin, it just generates it for you and you can just fill in the little details and it just takes seconds. It's it's a no-brainer. So do that and that saves you a lot of money. Next is Go Code. Earlier I mentioned there might be one you could live without. This would be the one that you could live without, but I highly recommend not living without it. What Go Code does is it creates it is basically a redirect. So say you're posting about somebody's blog post. It's like whatever.com forward slash blog forward slash really long category forward slash really long set of date forward slash like 10 keyword phrase whatever domain name and then it has like an ID at the end of it it's like it takes like a whole paragraph just to write the thing right so what you can do is by using go code you can just shorten that out to be like cool blog post or you know John's blog post about this so whenever someone sees the link it's not like a whole paragraph it's like holy crap it's like three words, so you, you, go, you might want to go ahead and install this. Not only that, if you're into doing affiliate marketing or doing CPA, stuff like that, you're going to want to go ahead and have this installed so you can just go ahead and have your affiliate link on there. So you could just say, hey, go visit this website, which will be yourdomainname.com forward slash go forward slash whatever you set up that, that uh, link to be. So instead of them saying like, if you use ClickBank or something, instead of them saying like the one hop whatever, whatever, they'll just see... Uh, you know, blogging mindset is to be like your your domain dot com forward slash go forward slash blogging mindset. Which that way, when someone clicks that link, it's not like what the heck is this? They click it and they go, and you still get uh you still you know you still get your commissions from the affiliate sale, which is awesome. So install this plugin. Next is a Kismet. Now this is this is installed by default, but it's not activated by default. So what you need to do is you need to go ahead and create a WordPress.com account. Now you don't want to create a blog, you just want to create an account. That way you get your API key, which is just a string of digits that's uniquely identifiable. So when you have this little API key, what you do is you plug it in inside the dashboard under a Kismet. When you activate a Kismet, it'll be like, hey, you need to install this API. You can't miss it. So whenever you install it, that's all you got to do. I think it actually walks you through the entire process. Now, what a Kismet is going to do is it's going to make your life so much easier. Because if you do not install a Kismet, you're going to get like a thousand or more spam messages sent to your blog pretty much daily. I mean, I'm not kidding. I think I've had like 35,000 spam comments in the past few months. And I don't even see them because a Kismet knocks them out. I mean, sure, there's a random spam where some dude like tries to be all smart and everything. But whenever you have a Kismet, it nicks it in the butt. It never happens. So install this plugin. It's free. It's actually already installed. You just got to activate it and get your API key, which is also free. And then lastly is subscribe to comments. This is another one of those community building things that you just really need to have installed. Now, whenever you have subscribe to comments installed, what that allows, you know, what it does is whenever someone goes to your blog and they leave a comment like, hey, man, that was really cool, but I'm a little confused on this. Can you explain exactly what to do about this? Whenever they click the little subscribe button, what happens is whenever you respond or somebody else's respond, they're going to get an email letting them know that somebody responded to their comment, which is kind of cool. Because if they didn't do this, they'd leave your comment and then maybe somebody answers it and they just don't know because they didn't go back and check the site again. So by allowing them to have subscribe to by allowing the subscribe to comments functionality, it allows them to go ahead and know anytime somebody responds to the comment, which is just is, is really cool. You're going to want to do this. So install this plugin. It's, it's that important. If you're using WordPress.com, that plugin is actually installed by default. Not sure why it's not installed by default in WordPress 3.0, but do make sure you have this plugin installed. It's that important. So that's it. Install them. Just go back through the video, pause, and every time you see like the whole page, just type those things in, get it done, get it over with. It takes less than a few minutes. And then anytime you set up a new blog, load up this video, 
type in those plugins and you're done it's set and forget it you don't even have to think about this stuff just install it install the seo plugins and that's it